Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in today's one, I'm excited to share that me and my girlfriend Tilly are gonna be working on a few projects together involving plant hangers and painted pots. What you're gonna be seeing today is me painting a pot that I've had for quite a long time now and I've always wanted to paint on it. Uh, so when me and Tilly got talking about collabing together, uh, I thought it would be such a perfect thing for me to try and paint this pot that I've been wanting to do for ages now and uh, it pretty much gave me the excuse to try it out. So initially before I started painting the pot I did some research into painting on pots and, and kind of like what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Um, so the main thing I got out of that research was that you need to prime the pot beforehand because obviously with pots and plants there's water involved and uh, you shouldn't really um, you know mix those two together without priming the surface first and then eventually varnishing or protecting it with some sort of sealant after. So after sanding down the pot uh, very quickly to get out any like rough areas on the pot I uh, primed it with gesso twice and on the second round I actually mixed it with a bit of uh, acrylic some raw sienna acrylic um, so it would give me a super toned and nice background to work off uh, for when I paint and I found that working with a toned background as opposed to a white background uh, helps your colors helps uh, choose your colors right and correct um, so I definitely recommend that for anyone who's painting uh, to just quickly tone your background with it doesn't have to be brown it could be any color really but yeah brown is a pretty good color to work off um, so yeah I got started with the painting I got a sketch down and uh, yeah we I'm doing this really fun like little design of a daisy floating by on a wave um, in the ocean it was really fun from now on. I just painted as I would on a normal canvas. The only difference was, was that the pot is a curved surface. So it took some time for me to get used to and, you know, to position my hand in a way that wouldn't like um, obstruct the actual painting. Um, but no, I found it that it was quite easy to get a hang of uh, the more I did it. Once I got that down and positioned myself in the best way to paint on the pot, I really just went into focus mode and uh, went away for about an hour and a half to two hours of just working away at it. And um, it was so fun. I loved the whole process of this because it was so, I feel it was so refreshing for me to kind of work on something new, something that I, that kind of challenged me other than just a, a blank canvas you know it was a pot it was it was different so ever since I've known Tilly she's always been so interested in plants especially indoor plants where she can uh, you know put them by the windowsill and um, you know let them grow and let them become even bigger than they were um, months prior to buying them um, I've always found that so cool and I've realized that plants are so important to have and uh, you know just to be inside it's it's it can be quite you know it's not our natural habitat to be inside all the time so having a plant there to care for and to remind us that you know nature is here we're all around nature and being able to care for the plant is something that is super I don't know it's humbling to um, care for a plant and I'm sure you guys know that if you have a plant yourself. And if you don't, I definitely recommend to, to invest in just a little cheap plant. You, you don't have to go crazy expensive with it. You know, you can just get some simple plant that uh, you care for. And it's really important for yourself and your mental health, I think. So Tilly got into macrame hangers. And right off the bat, I was, I was kind of blown away with how good she was at uh, creating the hangers and I told her that maybe she should turn it into something maybe she should create an Instagram or a shop where she could sell uh, her hangers we naturally said that 
you know, maybe we should collab together. Maybe I should create a pot or paint a pot where um, you do the hangers as well. And like we could create a whole product from that. So this whole initial video that um, you're seeing on screen now is, is uh, our first kind of like collab. And um, yeah, it proved to us that we could do this. Like maybe this is an option <laughs> and uh, maybe she could have fun over um, created something for herself and um, yeah that's what this whole project proved um, this initial project with the pot that I had and the macrame that she made um, you know it proved to us that we can collab and uh, she can uh, create something more and uh, bring pleasure to loads of people not just her friends and family it could just be you know could be bigger than that it could be all across the UK or it could be all over the world just like I've been doing with my prints like why why not and that's the question why not <laughs> sometimes it just takes one little push from someone else to achieve something that you could have never imagined so now that I had finished uh, painting the pot I just needed to seal it with some sort of sealant so I was doing my research into that and I found that the Liquitex matte varnish that I have, the spray varnish that I have already that I use for my paintings, it actually is fully waterproof once it's dry. So I just uh, set it up in the garden, sprayed a few times around it and uh, I actually did another coat after this one that you saw. Um, but after that it was, it was pretty much ready to go. So that's it guys, here's Tilly holding up the final outcome of the hanger as well as the painted pot. Um, man, we're so blown away with how this came out. We're so excited to get on with more. We've actually got loads of plans to do themes and uh, you know a whole line of uh, plant hangers together with the pots. I feel like this whole project has been really inspiring for both me and Tilly and uh, yeah we can't wait to get on with more if you do want to check out tilly's new instagram it's called tilly makes i'll put it in the description below so that you can check it out she's already posting loads of behind the scenes shots and videos uh, and yeah she's going to be continuing to share information about creating sustainable macrame plant hangers and uh, yeah i can't wait to see more from her so that's about it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed and i guess i'll see you in the next one